Hey guys, it's me, Maya Reborns, and I am back with another video. Today is Thursday, November 2nd, and it's currently 2.42, and I have Saint here for you all for today's video. Sorry guys, I'm looking at my phone because I was trying to get the time and things like that, and then I got distracted because I got some notifications, so I started to read them. But anyways, I have Saint for today's video. I do have a topic. And before I get started on the topic and showing you guys what I'm going to be changing him into, I do want to say I have some babies available. I have a Caucasian full body silicone girl that is 17 to 18 inches, around 4 to 5 pounds maybe. And she has open eyes that are blue and she has blonde hair. I'm asking less than $700 for her because she's a heavily boo-boo baby. But I still think that she is really, really cute. And I think that's an awesome price for full body silicone. I'm asking full payment for that price. However, if you need a lower, we can work something out. And then I have a full body silicone baby boy that is in a biracial skin tone he is 20 inches six pounds and i am asking a little bit over a thousand dollars for him so he's less than a thousand two hundred dollars to give you guys an idea on the price range so that you guys can know how much they are and if you're able to afford them or not so i have those two babies up for sale they are both boo boo babies but their price reflects in that and i think they are great starter babies if you never had a silicone or if you just couldn't afford one now you can because i haven't saw a full body silicone for less than a thousand dollars in a really really long time so yeah she's less than seven hundred dollars he is less than a thousand two hundred dollars and i did lower his price because he was a little bit more than that so those are the two full body silicones I have for sale. And then I do have a reborn for sale that I'm not in a rush to get rid of because if she, if she doesn't sell by like Christmas time, I'm just going to give her to one of my little cousins. And that is Scarlet by Cindy Musgrove. She was like the third baby I painted, first baby I rooted. She's really, really cheap. I just wanted to give somebody a great opportunity to own an authentic reborn for a less a lesser price. Um... However, she's just been sitting here for the past three years, so I'll just give her to one of my little cousins if she doesn't sell by like a week or two before Christmas. So, those are the three babies I have for sale. Any other babies are sold. I do have blank kits available. I have a Soda Limited Edition Reborn Dow Kit Zoe by Natalie Blick. Limited Edition of $999 worldwide. I have that blank kit for sale. And then I also have the june three years old blank kit and i believe that kit is discontinued for sale and i do have eyes that i will send with that kit but no body and then for zoe i do have body but no eyes so that's all i have for sale i just wanted to let you guys know in case anyone is searching for a reborn for the holidays go ahead and contact me if you're seriously seriously interested and yeah i don't allow pain plans on a blank kit so now into the topic and enough of all of that i just had to let you guys know because i get asked a lot like what babies i have for sale then i try to redirect people to, i do have a reborns.com account so i too i try to redirect people there or just look on my instagram highlight that says for sale but people are still like pictures 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 and where i can't find it or who do you have available um i do keep that highlight updated when a baby sells i delete it and then as well as on reborns.com so just go ahead and check them out you can see the prices on reborns.com too i don't have the blankets listed on there though but you guys can contact me through instagram my instagram is my underscore reborns or you guys can contact me through email my email is my reborns at gmail.com and i am done blabbering because this video is already five minutes and i haven't even talked about anything yet so let me quickly show you guys what he's going to be wearing it's going to be so simple I did not feel like looking for anything, but I was like, I don't want this video to be too boring. So let me find something for a baby to wear. And I feel sane for this video because I haven't changed them in two months. I looked on my channel and it said two months ago. So I was like, okay, let's change them. So we're going to put him in this white tank top with these great sweatpants. 
something simple and chill i might keep his socks on him you guys can't see but he does have white socks on i don't really want to move you guys because since my i have like three four or five tripods but i only have two in here i don't know where the rest are at they're probably in boxes somewhere and i don't feel like looking for them so since my other tripod that i mainly use for the camera broke and then my second tripod i use to put the ring light on since my main one broke i now have to use my second one that i use the tripod that i use the ring light for and so now the ring light has nowhere to go so i kind of like make shifted it a little bit and one subtle movement it will fall so anyways these are the white socks i'm talking about i might leave these on him for that outfit anyways i am here today to talk about customs let's talk about custom orders and realistic wait times and things like that so i have had quite a few custom orders orders and i haven't really liked them because i feel like every time i get a custom order something goes wrong so i do try to stay away from custom orders but it's so hard when there's not this diaper needs to go look how raggedy it is um i try to stay away from custom orders but it's so hard when there's you have a, like a certain vision for a specific kit and you don't see that vision for sale or you don't see that vision at all and so it's like well i have no choice but to get a custom order and i know i got lucky a lot of times like for instance with saint here this is my vision that i want that i wanted for this kit except for my vision had curly rooted hair and you guys know he has lightly painted hair but everything else is down to a t the same the skin tone that i like and like his eyebrows and things like that and just how he's painted this is exactly the vision that i had for this baby again except for the hair and i was lucky enough to find him already reborn and up for sale so sometimes i do get lucky but other times i don't and i have no choice but to do a custom order and i'm like wah, wah, wah. just because i had custom orders and i wouldn't say they just went horrible but I wouldn't say they went like extremely well where I'm like, oh my gosh, let me get a custom order again. And the reason why for that is I just feel like the wait times, I'm very, very, very patient. But if I don't get like any updates on what's going on, like I don't need to update every minute. I don't even need to see a whip picture every five seconds. Some people may, but I personally don't. As long as I just get an update here and there, like, hey, I'm working on the baby now. I'm okay. But I've gotten like no updates for any of the customs that I've done. And I'm like, what the heck? And they took so, so long. And again, I am extremely patient and I know things happen. So I don't have a problem waiting six months on a custom dial. I know that's probably a long time for a lot of you. But for me, I don't have a problem waiting that long. Especially if the artist is good at communicating and they let me know that it will be that long but what i do have a problem with is when i get a date or a time frame and they exceed that date and time frame without saying anything so then it's like what the heck i thought you said it was only going to take three months but now we're at the fifth month mark and i haven't heard anything from you so that's just the kind of things i am trying to like get at because again i am extremely extremely patient especially with these babies because again i know some people aren't doing this full time or if they are some things can pop up so i'm extremely extremely patient but i just feel like when it comes to communication i think that's where things go wrong because there's like no messaging and I'm not one to blow up someone's phone and keep messaging them like, hey, do you have any updates or hey, what's going on? Hello, how much longer? So I just end up letting that time go by. And sometimes I end up forgetting about the baby and I'm like, wait, aren't I expecting a baby? So then that's when I'm like, okay, I haven't heard from them in three months and I haven't messaged them and they haven't messaged me. So then let me go ahead and message them to see 
how long it's going to take. So I think that's the only thing I don't like about the customs is just the communication part. Um, a few other things I don't really like is when I'm getting the baby. I don't really have many i know i just kind of i'm gonna go back to what i was just saying but i don't have many expectations for the baby i'm not super picky like i want something here i want something there this is what i want again me personally i am super super simple i'm very very easy when it comes to like customs i just want a specific skin tone and then the hair and that's it <laughs> but i feel like when you can't even accommodate that i'm like then what the heck like all i asked was for like a specific skin tone and then if you can root the hair and that's pretty much it and then the baby turns out looking like someone else i'm like this is not what i asked for but i'm like okay whatever i don't complain i just get the baby and if i don't like it i just go ahead and sell it but i don't know i'm hoping that if i get any future customs that they all go well with communicating and they all go well with what i want and what i envision i know it's not going to be down to like exactly what i envision but again all i ask for is literally just skin tone and then hair and then if the artists want to add extra things they can maybe sometimes i'll ask for like a little scratch or something but otherwise than that i don't ask for anything else i don't ask for like milk bumps or the peach fuzz or capillaries on the eyes or anything like that i don't ask for stuff like that if the artists want to add add it go ahead as long as i just get my specific skin tone i am okay and so again i am extremely extremely easy to work with when it comes to customs again i just wish there was better communication with customs i haven't had like a super super bad custom experience but i've had it was like early on i've had i was saving up my money to get like a custom from one of my most favorite dream artists because their work was so amazing and i ended up getting a custom and it was no good at all it took really long i think let me see how long it took and i paid for full too i didn't even do like a payment plan or anything i paid for full for the custom um but i stopped doing that you're not getting that money until my baby's completed now because people be playing people play a lot guys in this community and it's like goodness you don't want money but let me see how long that took um it took about six six months for that baby and i messaged maybe once or twice asking like for updates or how much longer probably not even twice probably once and that was it out of those six months and i just let them message me when they could and i yeah like i said i think i only messaged once asking like hey any updates or hey do you know that was gonna be done but uh, otherwise than that i didn't bother them or anything i let them do their thing so that my baby wouldn't turn out a mess because people say well if you keep messaging me or you keep bothering me and your baby and i rush your baby that's gonna be on you so i was like wait a minute let me not go ahead and message these people and let me let them do their thing. But then when it becomes like super long, then that's when I'm like, hey, hello, did you forget about me? But yeah, um, I ended up letting the artists do their thing. Again, I, for that baby, I didn't even have hair. It was bald. And I just asked for like a specific skin tone and then a belly plate and that was it. And the baby just turned out a hot mess. It was horrible the skin tone wasn't too off from what i wanted but there were just like flaws on the baby and the baby was brand new i'm like how is there flaws on the baby i just opened it and it was a custom so yeah that kind of made me not want a custom ever again but i can't base like one two three four five six no, i'm just kidding i can't base like two or three bad experiences forever so i'm trying to really get a scope of everyone but customs nowadays are so expensive 1500 for a custom 2000 for a custom no ma'am i would not be doing it i'll stick to my make already made dolls and buy them i had more things to talk about with customs that weren't directly to like my situation but my mind is blank right now and the video is already 15 minutes so we are going to end this video i'll probably do a part two 
to this video about customs maybe later today or this week if you guys don't see it like later today or this week it'll probably be in like a couple of weeks or a month from now that I'll do a follow-up video I might even forget to do a follow-up video and probably end up doing another customs talk maybe next year sometime and then forget that I did this video so anyways yeah that might happen but I'm gonna upload this tomorrow because today's Thursday I'm gonna upload this video tomorrow and I am also going to upload maybe two to three shorts tomorrow so please go ahead and check those out they're gonna be on the shorts tab I have made like three or four shorts so I probably upload one or two tomorrow and then upload one or two on Saturday and then the rest on Sunday so go ahead and check out my shorts they don't really pop up like that I'm not really sure I don't watch shorts because they're so hard to find like you literally have to click on the shorts tab to find them or sometimes they pop up like on a rare chance so if you guys can go ahead after this video go ahead and click on my shorts watch those if you don't comment that's okay just like it give it a thumbs up and if you do comment i do appreciate it and thank you so again that is pretty much it for today's video here's my little sainty wainty and you guys know what even though i envisioned him to have a uh, rooted hair i love his painted hair i really do and as much as I wish he did have rooted hair, I am perfectly happy with his painted hair. And I don't think I'm going to get him rooted. At first, I was like, yeah, I'm going to get him rooted. But he's literally perfect just the way he is. That I don't even think I'm going to add hair to him. Like, look how cute he is. This ring light is super bright. Hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. But yeah, he's so cute, and he's literally everything I wanted and more in this kit. He's literally a dream come true. He's the most perfect texture. I wish you guys could feel him, because he's, like, heavily textured, which I love. But yeah, he looks like he could actually be my real child. <laughs> I know that kind of sounds funny, but that I think that's why I really, really like him, because he looks like... He looks just so real and that he could actually start breathing any minute. <laughs> but yeah, he's one of my... I love all of my babies, but he's like one of my favorites because, again, he is a dream come true. Same with Milano. I'm pointing over there because I just moved Milano because, like I said, I just got done from doing the shorts. Oh, one false move. This ring light's going to fall. But let's see if I can show you guys. There we go. Yeah, there's Milano. His big sister is holding him. But yeah, Milano is a dream come true as well. Because ever since I saw this baby with his first owner, I wanted him. And I got him. <laughs> so yay! <laughs> Look at her little boots. Oh, these are the... Everyone decided on these boots. But I have also decided on these boots as well. And they fit her costume so good. But unfortunately, I am going to have to take that costume off of her. Because it does have like the black on it. So, that'll be getting off of her in a few days. Alright, anyways, let me... It took me a lot longer to put on there at first than it just did right now. So, again, I have babies for sale. If you guys are interested, let me know. I don't do business in the comments. You guys can email me if, if you guys don't have Instagram. Or if you do have Instagram, you guys can message me on Instagram. You can also message me on Reborns.com. There are three different ways you guys can message me. Instagram, email, or or by rewards.com. Everything is linked in the description as well. So I do have babies for sale if you're interested in them. And that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys want to go ahead and follow me on Instagram, you guys can. My Instagram is my underscore rewards. And if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below anything you guys want in the comments, including video requests. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also ring that bell so you guys can always be notified when I post another video. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!